Measuring blood oxygen levels is actually quite fascinating. It's all about figuring out how well oxygen is being transported to the parts of your body furthest from your heart, like your arms and legs. The most common way to measure this is with a nifty little device called a pulse oximeter. You've probably seen one of these before. It's that small, clip-like gadget that gets attached to your fingertip. It's super simple to use and totally painless. Here's how it works. The pulse oximeter shines a light through your fingertip. Your red blood cells, the ones carrying oxygen, absorb and reflect light differently depending on how much oxygen they're carrying. The oximeter measures these light changes to figure out the oxygen saturation of your blood, which is a fancy way of saying how much oxygen your blood cells are carrying. The reading you get is called SpO2, and it's shown as a percentage. For most healthy people, this number should be between 95% to 100%, which means your blood is carrying a good amount of oxygen. In a more clinical setting, like a hospital, doctors might use a blood gas test for an even more accurate reading. This involves taking a small blood sample from an artery, a bit more invasive than the fingertip clip, and measuring the oxygen level directly from the blood. All right, let's chat about why low oxygen levels in your blood can be a bit of a worry. Imagine your body like a complex, bustling city. Every cell in your body is like a tiny citizen that needs a steady supply of oxygen to do its job properly. Oxygen is pretty much the fuel that keeps everything running smoothly. You get this oxygen when you breathe, and it's carried around your body by red blood cells. Now, when your blood oxygen level drops below what's considered normal, which is typically below 95%, it's like having a fuel shortage in your body city. This can happen for various reasons, like lung problems or heart issues. When cells don't get enough oxygen, they can't work as well as they should, and over time, this can cause some serious trouble. Think of it this way. If a power station in a city doesn't get enough fuel, it can't produce enough energy, and things start to shut down. Similarly, if your organs and tissues don't get enough oxygen, they can't function properly. This can lead to symptoms like shortness of breath, tiredness, and in severe cases, it can affect brain function and heart health. In the short term, your body has ways to cope with slightly low oxygen levels, like making your heart beat faster to pump more oxygenated blood around. But if the oxygen level stays low for a while, it's like running a car engine without enough oil. Things might keep going for a bit, but damage is being done, and eventually, it can lead to big problems. So, that's the gist of it. Pretty cool, right? Measuring blood oxygen levels helps keep an eye on your overall lung and heart health, and it's a crucial part of managing conditions like chronic lung diseases or heart problems.